Hi Sagittarius, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel, Crystalline Light. My name is Charlotte. Thanks for being here guys. Um, I've been having problems with my phone, uploading my videos. My phone won't upload my videos if they're about 30 minutes. It's been frustrating. I've had a lot of videos I had to delete because it didn't make any sense. I do a little bit of astrology, so you know, I, I, I go through your strategy real quick so <clears throat> if I'm doing a video in August and I can't upload it and I upload it in mid-September it makes no sense right so it was really frustrating so I found the way to do it now I'm not gonna do more than 20 minutes if I can help it and so far it's been amazing I've uploaded all the videos you are the last sign but you're not the least favorite know that and now I've uploaded everything so now I can even do other videos for you guys. I don't even know what I'm gonna do next, but at least I got your September. This is your September, by the way, Sag. So Sagittarius, real quick, um, in your second house, we still have the party going on over there. I don't know if it's a party or a nightmare, whatever. Pluto, Jupiter, and Saturn. Um, and Saturn is about to go direct, so that's gonna give us a little bit of a oh, sigh, right? Of all this like tense energy we've been going through with all these retrogrades. And then Jupiter will go direct as well later on. So your second house of assets, you know, and nurturing and what makes you feel good, right? That Venusian energy. And then we have the South Node in your sign too. So it's kind of been tough for you, I think, Saj, to know what's what, you know? Like, you've been in a routine. You know you have to change something up. But it's just hard for you to let go of stuff, I think, Sagittarius. You've been a little bit confused, I feel. I think Saturn going direct will give you a little bit of um, a boost, okay? Or it'll help you identify where you are, like, keeping yourself stuck, okay? Because the South Node is something that we already learned, we know, but we're used to it, so we tend to want to go back and do the same thing, right? Instead of, like, looking towards our North Node, which is in Gemini, which Gemini is your... Um, ninth house which is you <laughs> so it's like a mirror kind of thing right you have to look into the mirror Sag basically that's what I want to say to you and then we also have in your sixth house we just had that full moon in Pisces very emotional full moon so you might have wanted had one you might have had compensated by being there for other people so you didn't have to you know sit with these questions that are like kind of bubbling up you know inside of you um, but you have to look in the mirror Sag that's what I want to tell you then in your seventh house of Aries you know your axis you're right across from you which is your shadow you have Mars who's trying to push you Sag it's trying to, to push you and to give you the, 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 the strength and to give you the momentum to 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 really create that change for yourself okay um, also in your so Aries is your seventh tenth house we have Venus there so what is it you love go after what you love it's not because you're used to it or you don't want to disturb anybody or change anybody's routine that you're not gonna do what you love you have to think about you such okay I feel like you're doing a lot for others but not enough for yourself let me just say that because it's about to go, Venus is about to go in uh, into Leo, which is passion, and it's your 11th house. Yes, self. It's time you give to yourself, Sagittarius. And it's it's like, it's because you're running away. Because you don't want to. Also, it's not like people are taking this from you, but you let them. You give it, actually, because you don't want to face whatever, you're, whatever you have to face, you know? You don't want to let go of the routine. Are you lazy, Sag? You can't see the cards, right? But whatever, I'll show them to you. Let's get another last card. One last card and we'll clarify. So like I said, uh, 11th house of Leo, you have Venus going in there. It's time to, yeah, it's time to do you, Sag. And um, in the 12th, in, um, did I say 11th house? What the hell am I talking about? Your 11th house is Libra. What? Hold up. So Cancer is your 
If Aries is your seventh, oh, that's why I got, yeah, Aries is your seventh. Eight, Taurus, nine, Gemini, 10th, Cancer. Hmm. I'm getting something wrong here. Hold up, Sag, I'm sorry. Let's go the other way. So if Sag, you, you are first. 12th is Scorpio. 11th is Libra. Your 10th is Virgo. So Mercury is in Virgo, and it's about to enter your 11th of Libra. Okay. So time to make new friends. Time to switch the energy. Like I said, let go. It's time for your renewal, Sag, okay? So if Virgo is your 10th house, Leo is your 9th, and you have Venus entering Leo, the 9th. Now it's in Cancer. So that's, this is when you need to do that inner work. But you're running away from it. We have the full reverse here. There's a new beginning for you, but you're, you're just, you're not letting it happen. You're not letting it happen. You're too comfortable. It's not that you're comfortable. You're stuck in a routine and you're not letting this new beginning come in for you. And it is necessary. The South Node is in your sign for a reason. It's kind of a map. The South Node is there for you to compare, you know, what you've been doing over and over again and where you need to revive and revamp and re-energize things. That's why your 11th house of Libra, we're getting Mercury there. It's time to get out and make new friends, new collaborations. You, you need a breath, a breath of fresh air, Sagittarius, okay? The Fool card, Pisces card, or Aries. Aries, your opposite, your 7th house of relationships, right? It's time for, it's time for a breath of fresh air, Sag. Basically, oops, that's what I'm gonna say. Okay, let's see what the other card is. Knight of Materials reversed. Yes, it's like, what are you? You're not seeing it, Sag. You need to stop repeating the same thing. You're 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 in the routine. You're stuck in a routine, and you're fine with it. Meanwhile, your happiness is is right there. Nine of Pentacles. Collaborations. You being self-sufficient. You doing what you love, and make and make creating abundance with it. With that, maybe you guys are bored with your job. You're definitely. It's not that you're bored because I don't see that. I just see that you're you're comfortable with the routine. You're comfortable with the routine. You gotta break the chains. You need some excitement. Why aren't you excited, Sagittarius? I see you guys going home, work, going home, going work, going home, going to see your grandma, going home, going work, going to see your parents, going home. Every weekend you go to your parents. You know, it's like routine. Page of Pentacles. You have to start, you have to go on a journey here, a new journey. You have to get excited again. It's, you know, nobody's saying you have to rush and do something drastic. But the Page of Pentacles sets a goal and goes after it diligently, right? Diligently and meticulously and knows what it wants. It's trained for it is conscious of it, has a plan. You don't have a plan. You're just falling around, you're falling along. You need to, you need to go on another journey here. It's time for a new journey, Sag, basically. Look at that, it's time for a new journey that you're resisting. Why are you resisting this full card? This full, this full energy. Go on that journey. There's so much there for you. You will bloom, blossom, and be abundant. And attract that new energy that you need, so desperately need right now. Look at that. The star card is clarifying the fool, two majors. There's a need for a major change here for you, Sag. You're stagnant. 
Your dreams are waiting for you. There, it, you, need, you need to reach for a star here. You need to believe again. You need to be kind of in that energy of a kid again, you know? Like, you've, whatever you've been doing, you've done, you've been doing for a long time. Don't you want to do something different? Don't you want to be excited for something new? What is that dream of yours that probably you're not, you know, you've put in a box? Get it out. Let that dream out and go for it. Start planning for that. You might love your job. Love is a big word. You're comfortable at your job. You are. You're comfortable where you are, but don't you want more than comfort? Comfort is settling. Why are you settling? That's what I feel. You're settling. You're settling for life here. There's no excitement. There's no mm, desire. Your fire sign, Sag. Where's your fire? Where's your fire? Your fire is very dim right now. It's low. Five of emotions, five of cups. What are you sad about? Let's get one more. What is keeping you stuck? There's an emotional blockage here that needs to be healed. In order for you to, you know, to believe again. And you probably don't even know this because it's been part of you and you think it's, you think it's normal, you know? You can't even, you don't even identify it. It doesn't like, it's become you. That's what I want to say. And, and it's, it has become you. And for you, there's nothing else. You're not motivated. Motivated, no. You just, you're complacent. You're cool. The routine suits you. Where did your aspiration go, Sag? You guys are fire. What happened to that fire? The Empress. It's reversed. You feel like you're not good enough? Did somebody take that away from you? Who stole your fire? Who or what stole your fire? I think the routine stole your fire. You know, it's easy to keep doing the same thing over and over again because we know it. Why take the risk to... It's laziness. Is it laziness? But I don't think so. With this five of emotions here, I really think something happened or a succession of happenings kind of brought you to this place of just feeling like this is it. You can do better for yourself. That's not a good energy. Where's your fire? You have the star card and the fool. You need to heal whatever that is. I don't know what that is. You know what that is, Sag. And only that way Will you be able to move forward and to, you know, start a new cycle here? There, there's a cycle here that needs to end for you to believe again, for you to heal and believe again and light up that fire within you. Very, very, do you feel <clears throat> like, what are you, old or something? Not old, whatever, but your life is not over. It's like... It's like, this is it. This is my life. Okay, fine. That's what I'm feeling. That's that energy. What is going on? Something happened. That's, that became you. That made you believe that you can only be what you are. And you can't be more. I don't know what it is.
Like I said, you remember I was saying, some of you, you know, you go to work, then you go see your grandma. Then, are you guys like at home? Because you had problems, you know, financial problems, so you're, you had to go back and live home. And now you feel like you're stuck. You're like, oh, here we go again. And then all these emotions from your, your childhood come back. And you just don't want it anymore. You're around, you're, you remember I said old, you're around people that are older than you, that have pretty much lived half of their lives. And you're, start to, and you're starting to emulate that energy. And like I said, maybe it's your home, your childhood home. Maybe it was in a super, super duper happy home, you know. Not saying there was violence or anything, but maybe there was depression, blah, blah, or a parent died. There's a lot of melancholic energy, old, stale energy, stagnant, and just routine and just dim energy here. I even feel like, you know, what's going on? Then you have the Knight of Pentacles with the Empress. Knight of Pentacles is very slow. Like I said, the thing is, this is <clears throat> stagnant energy. Even at work, everything is stagnant around you. You know, you feel like you're stuck. It doesn't even, you don't even have, it doesn't make any sense to try even because you're like, it's not going to work. This is it. This is my life. This victim mentality. No. You can change your life at any time, Sag. Where did your fire go? I keep hearing. Very old energy. Old. I don't like saying that, but you know what I mean. Very, uh, well, you are like, you know, the teacher. You kind of have that old soul. But you're in too deep right now in that. It's very like end of my rope energy, you know? do you feel that way? Let's get a Queen of the Moon Oracle. Since we had that full moon in Pisces. Sorry, I messed up all the zodiac. I didn't get it. What the hell was that? So basically, the full moon. Where was that? Your fourth house. I get, see? I'm telling you guys. Some of you... This has to do with family. You guys moved back home. Some of you. I feel this. Something. Something to do with family. An elderly. Being pulled in that nostalgic energy, five of emotions, but staying there. It's like a succession of things, you know? Like I said. This is not just one thing. It's, it's, it's a succession of things, and that makes you believe. Okay? Or you, you want to believe. Because it's a succession... You got caught up and you're like, well, this is it. There's no way out, you know? You don't want to go for adventure. You're very adventurous. You like adventure. You don't want to go for adventure. You don't want to go discover stuff. You're not curious. Your curiosity is dead. Your willingness to learn, to explore is dead. You're just stuck in a routine. Be the fool. This is Aries or Pisces. I don't know, Saj, read a book or something. Read a book so that you can kind of like, you know, charge your, your, your mind a little bit and change your way of thinking, you know, like food for your thoughts, I'm hearing. You need food for your thoughts. Your mind is starving, okay? Look at that, the void creation. Yep, you need to start over here. You need to create your own reality that you desire but i feel like you don't even know what you desire because you believe that you you're what you desire you can't have right nine of pentacles so why even create it since you already blocked it in your head and you already believe that you can't have it so why you have to believe to create right that's manifestation and how do you do that is you jump into the void 
and you trust in the universe you trust in yourself but like i said you have to want it you have to desire it you have to desire it okay and i don't feel like you're doing that right now like you don't want anything whatever comes is good you know the metaphor I'm getting is like almost like imagine you go to a restaurant and they're like they give you the menu and you're like no it's okay you just give me whatever you want that's that's what I feel for you you know it's like would you like coffee or tea sir and you're like I don't know what do you think I should have that's what I'm feeling that kind of energy Where's your fire? I'm sorry, I keep repeating that. Definitely, you need a dark mirror here. This is the dark mirror cards. Very uh, uh, warning, very triggering, and very um, dark. <laughs> it's, yeah, you need to look in the mirror. Remember I was saying that? You need to look in the mirror. Well, you definitely need one of these. Let's see what comes out. Something here has turned off your fire I feel like it has to do with family past family um, drama not drama but you know what I mean <sighs> family childhood issues childhood trauma there you go childhood trauma Here, what do you have for with that full moon in Pisces in your fourth? Some childhood trauma came up. Spirit, what do you have for Sag? Is this me? Is it you, Sag? Is this is it you? Let's read it. This was at the bottom before I was shuffling, and now it's back. Artificial heart. I don't know what it is, but we're, we're just going to... Do I want to read both? I want to read both for you. I don't know why. Because it was under, and now it's back. Okay, so we have four. Foundation. Is, is your foundation real? Or have you based your foundation on... The experiences, you know, we do build our foundation on the experiences we've had, right? And then we have to do the shadow work to, to, to get back in touch with our inner child. That's the name of the game, right? But I feel like um, I lost my train of thought. I feel like you've let the shadow become you. You know, you've run, you've run. You've ran away from it so long that you can't even ident identify it anymore. It's part of you. It's like you. It became you. You know, you can't separate yourself from it. Okay, let's, whatever. Four. Sag, what is going on? I don't, this is very sad energy. Okay. I cannot recognize myself, but I'm still me. A dark fantasy female warrior, white pale skin, is enshrouded by a scanty spiked bikini armor. She holds a fanged bat, hilted sword, against a background of fire and rune. Sentence. I cannot recognize myself as I can't remember the road that led me here. How can I see the road ahead? You're not seeing the road ahead because you're not you. keep going going dark this card is not about an affirmation but rather a question is this me is this you Sag can I recognize recognize myself can you recognize yourself Sag maybe yes maybe no but for sure I lost the road I had once the last time I stopped to really think about it in my heart I feel maybe like the high school girl that went to the prom but truly I am now 45 and wait Thrice, I feel my true self as the kid that wanted to play soccer with the real Madrid. 
all this while punching numbers on an Excel file out in an insurance office. I told you such. Routine. This is all about routine. Oh my God, I have shivers. Hold on. It is not necessarily something negative as a dream lost or corrupted. I could see myself as love is the most important thing in my life. But actually, I have a very well-paid job that makes me travel. And I sleep alone in hotel rooms. When, when did we last look at ourselves in a mirror? Do we like what we are? Make no excuses because the choices which made what we are are our responsibility. If an old dream is dead, it's time to dream anew. If the old dream is alive, it's time to go back to it. Saj. Exactly what I was saying. Create the life you desire. But I feel like you don't even have passion anymore. Okay, let's read the other card that wanted to come out somehow. Is this you, Saj? Are you you, fully? Twelve. Artificial, artificial heart, sorry. If I don't feel the warmth of the sun, will I become the sun or myself? Visual seed. A fem female figure, an android or a robot, with cyber lines traveling over the skin like gentle spiders. A black choker of feminine servitude and jade eyes of futuristic indifference. Sentence. Building oneself to specifications. Stealing oneself to adversity. Dreaming of electric sheeps. Going dark. Once upon a time, it was a time of flying monkeys. Someone journeyed to a place that was in Kansas in order to gain a heart. Oh, such a charming old-fashioned fairy tale. A new heart can be bought on the internet now and can be delivered in a couple of days with a brand new shiny instruction manual. It works too. It gets the job done. It's not a job of feelings. It's scripted, like a job of numbers. Actually, it feels like a trade-off. We find refuge in the rational mind, which in turn gives us back the illusion of control. But we still feel. We still long to live through our emotions fully. We are truly like an artificial knight that wants to become a real person. Happiness is not in numbers, but it's not because numbers are bad. It is because there's nothing that alone can grant happiness and guarantee it. We trade in the natural world for artificiality and then we blame this choice as the reason why our skin has no color. What if it's not actually connected? What if it's just an excuse? What if even an artificial heart could beat and fall in love and, drawn and drown in sorrow? So it's like, this is like being so caught up in the mundane, the 3D, that you no longer believe. This is what it is. Oh my God, no one, I have shivers. Is this you or are you now a product product of this 3D? Because you're so stuck in the routine, Sagittarius. Where is your fire? You are ruled by Jupiter, expensive planet, happy planet, optimism. There is no optimism here. There is no passion here. There is no fire here. There actually is no fire. There, there, you are not here. You're not in your reading because this is not you. You need to press the restart button. One, the fool. You need to press the restart button and you need to believe again and manifest your dreams. Dear Sag, this is very sad. You've given up on life. Take care, Saj. What do you love? Do something you love. It will spark that fire again. You need to ignite it again. You need to do something that is going to ignite that fire again. You're in a routine. You have an artificial heart. You need that fire to warm up. 
and ignite and dream again and be that expansive being you are that that being that's excited and curious i love you guys take care bye sage